Today on In the Woodyard, we're talking about prepping. What kind of firewood you need for when the end of the world happens. Here we go. Thanks for stopping in. My name is Chris, in case you're here for the first time. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. My channel is all about firewood, and there's a lot of videos for you to watch. We're going to get right into it. Prepping is a big deal right now because obviously with the way the economy is going with inflation and prices going up on everything, people are looking for ways to either save money or to be better prepared for the doom and gloom that is upon us. So we're gonna talk about firewood. Now, first thing I wanna say, this by no means is gonna cover all kinds of wood. There's gonna be a lot of kinds of wood that in your area or your part of the world might be totally different than what I have available to me. I'm talking about what I have available. But really what you wanna do is think about what's the best kind of wood for you to have for your situation. Number one, what do you have available? That's the most important thing. So if you have uh, a lot of wood available that's junk, maybe you need to look for something better. Maybe you have a lot of wood that's fantastic and you just need more of it. So think about that. I look at it as all wood is good wood. All wood burns, it doesn't matter. But if you're going to put a lot of effort into making firewood, so that you can stay warm and not die in the apocalypse. What you want to do is have wood that is the best wood possible. So if you're going to be putting a lot of effort into it, why not use the best wood possible? That's the way I guess I look at it if you're looking into prepping. So that means wood that has better BTUs as far as burning, or it may be wood that lasts longer as far as burning, or wood that lasts longer that just doesn't disintegrate once it gets wet or wood that disintegrates because bugs get in it and eat it up because that does happen. Some really good hardwoods don't last all that long. So that's something you gotta think about. You might wanna do some research on. I'm gonna give you a little bit of information on that right now. So pretty much everybody has two types of wood available, hardwood and softwood. And there's a big debate over what's better. And if you're on the east coast of the United States, all you're gonna ever talk about is hardwood and how great the hardwood is. Yeah, it is good. But there's also a lot of really good softwood that puts a lot of BTUs out. You know, a lot of people on the east part of the United States are gonna say, oh, hickory's the best. Well, yeah, it's good wood. It puts out like 27 million BTUs per cord. But over on the far side of the country, Doug Fir puts out about the same amount of BTUs, and it's a softwood, so there's that. In uh, some of the southwest part of the country, there's pinyon pine, and pinyon pine puts out a lot of BTUs, and I think it's like 24 million BTUs per cord, so there's that. About the same as what oak does, and it's a very dense wood. So this whole, I hate pine, Hardwood is no good because we don't have any debate. It doesn't matter. It's where you live is what you've got. Get over it and cut what you got and quit fighting about it. It's just different, that's all. There's a whole lot of people that think just because they drive a certain brand of vehicle, theirs is the best because that's what they have. Well, same thing stands true for firewood. Whatever you have is the best that you have available in your area. But it doesn't mean it's the best in the world. There's a lot of wood that puts out lots of BTUs that you hardly ever hear about. Eucalyptus puts out 34.5 million BTUs per cord. And everybody talks about Osage Orange and how good that is, and that puts out like 32. So eucalyptus is actually better, so. To say it. Another kind of wood that puts out a lot of BTUs, not quite as much as Osage Orange, is Madrone. Madrone puts out 30 million BTUs, and Osage Orange is 32, so it's darn close. Another kind of wood that puts out a lot of BTUs is almond wood, if you have that available. Mainly that's over on the west coast, and that puts out 32.9, so that's very good wood. Generally speaking, any tree that produces fruit is pretty darn good firewood, which means Apple trees are really good. Pear trees are really good. Oak's really good because that's, an, you know, the, the acorns, that's a fruit. Uh, hickory, very good. Walnut, very good. Almond, very good. They all put out a lot of BTUs. So think about that. So in my area, probably the worst wood that is available that everybody has and nobody wants is cottonwood. 
This is a piece of cottonwood. This piece right here weighs about a half an ounce. No, I'm not, it's not a half an ounce, but it's very light. There's not a lot to it. Now, one of the reasons people don't like it is because it burns real fast, doesn't put out a lot of heat, and it stinks when it burns. Uh, basically smells like, uh, a lot of people compare it to like cow manure. Um, the other problem with it is, is if you get it wet, it disintegrates. It'll last two years tops and it's gone. So cottonwood is not great wood for prepping, in my opinion. But if that's what you got, that's what you've got. That's what you should cut. And like I said before, all wood is good. All wood burns. So there's the cottonwood. The next wood in my area that is very plentiful that no one really likes is box elder. That's what this is. This is just a small piece. Very light, doesn't put out a lot of heat, and there's a lot of it, and it grows everywhere. But it does burn. and. It doesn't stink, it has easy to start. As far as BTUs, Box Elder puts out about 18 million BTUs per cord, whereas the cottonwood puts out somewhere around 14, so it's quite a bit less. Another kind of wood that's very popular, and it's popple or aspen, and it's widely spread throughout the whole United States, pretty much the whole from east to west coast, you'll find popple or aspen. It puts out about 18 million BTU, so it's a little better than the other two. Uh, it doesn't stink, it burns just fine, makes great kindling, but if this is what you have, this is what you burn. The next two kinds of wood I'm gonna talk about, a lot of people have available white birch and soft maple or red maple they both are real good firewood they're in the middle range as far as BTUs white birch right here puts out about 20 million BTUs per cord which is in the middle ground same as this red maple or soft maple that puts out about 18 or so million BTUs per cord so they're good woods, but they're not great as far as BTUs. A lot of people do not like uh, red maple or soft maple because they think it's very inferior to hard maple or rock maple or sugar maple. Those three names are all for the same kind of wood. This puts out about 18, whereas the hard maple, also known as rock maple, also known as sugar maple, puts out about 24 million BTUs. So if you're a wood snob, you don't like this. You'd prefer hard maple because it puts out more heat. But they all burn and they're all pretty good wood. The next kind of wood I'm gonna talk about is pine. And pine is fine. It burns great. It's easy to start, has a nice flame to it, puts out a lot of heat, but it burns fast. This is white pine. White pine has somewhere between 14 and 15 million BTUs per cord, which is kind of on the lower end. Red pine, on the other hand, puts out about 18, so it's actually more comparable to some of the wo other woods that we just talked about. But again, the nice thing about pine is it cuts easy, splits easy, burns easy, makes great kindling, and it's everywhere. Pine is everywhere. There's different kinds of pine throughout the country. This just happens to be two of the kinds we have available here. Red and white. We also have jack pine. Don't have any with me right now, but all pretty darn good wood. It all burns. Another thing about pine, over in the western part of the country, that's all they have is pine. So that's what they burn. And their houses don't explode. Everybody thinks, oh, if you burn pine, you're gonna have chimney fires every other day, or maybe every day. No, that's just people that are towards the west, or to the east coast, that think their hardwood is superior, which it is in a lot of cases. But pine burns just great, as long as it's dry, fully seasoned, it'll burn. Now the next couple kinds of wood I'm going to talk about is hickory. This happens to be bitternut hickory. There's also shagbark hickory. Really good wood. Puts out about 27 million BTUs per ton. It's very dense, very heavy wood, so it's a little bit better than most of the oaks, which we're going to talk about soon. And then this bad boy right here is Osage Orange. Now Osage Orange is by a lot of people considered the holy grail. It's the best firewood in the planet, period. But it isn't. There's other wood that puts out more heat than Osage Orange. Eucalyptus is one of them. Juniper is another one. Actually puts out more BTUs. And Almond is another one that puts out more BTUs than Osage Orange. It just happens to be that a lot of people have this available. It's really good wood, very dense wood, and uh, puts out a lot of heat. So these are two kinds that are really good wood for prepping because they put out a lot of heat, and like I said before, if you're gonna go through the effort to make wood, you might as well make wood from trees that puts out more heat. 
So it's more heat for the same amount of work. Okay, so if I was to take this Osage orange piece here, it uh, puts out 32.9 million BTUs. I was actually wrong. It's almost 33 million BTUs per cord versus this cottonwood, which puts out like 14 or 15. This is twice as good. So you'll need, in a cord, if you were to get the same amount of heat from this Osage orange, you would need twice as much of the cottonwood, twice as much. So that's something to think about. That's why when you're thinking about prepping, you want wood that's gonna put as much heat as possible. Osage orange would be better. Uh, but if all you guys cotton with that, you just have to cut twice as much. So think about that. Now, one of the things a lot of people think about, because Osage orange is what you hear about how good it is, and almond is every bit as good. Another kind of wood that a lot of people don't realize is really good is eucalyptus, if you can find it. So another kind of wood besides Osage orange that puts out a lot of heat, the one that I could find that puts out the most in the United States, is live oak. So I know a lot of you that are in the southern part of the United States have probably been screaming at your uh, screen right now saying, live oak, live oak's the best. Well, this Osage Orange puts out 32.9, like I mentioned. Live oak puts out 36.6. .6. So you people that are in love with Osage Orange, it's not the best. There's other wood that's actually better. So there's that. Now another kind of wood that I haven't mentioned yet that is very good wood, but has almost no BTUs. It's like, it's like burning tissue paper. Cedar. Smells fantastic, nice and light, splits easy, dries fast, but it burns real fast. But cedar puts out almost the lowest amount BTUs of all the woods I've talked about so far. 12. 12 million BTUs per cord, which means you'd need three times as much of this as you would live oak. So three full cords of this equal one full cord of live oak. So you gotta think about that. But it's really good wood. Now, the reason I had cedar where I did, kinda towards the end here, cedar is a kind of wood that never goes bad. It will last a very long time. You can even get it wet and it doesn't rot. Well, it does eventually, but cedar lasts a very long time. One of the things you gotta think about is when you're um, prepping, you want wood that the bugs aren't gonna eat. Now, almost all the kinds of wood I've talked about up to now have been kinds of wood that eventually the bugs will get into and they will eat it up. But cedar is one that they will not turn to powder overnight. Um, cedar lasts a very long time. A lot of the wood, you're only good for a couple of years. Um, especially woods like uh, aspen, cottonwood, box elder, birch, soft maple, those woods will only last a couple years and the bugs will get into them if you store it outside, which is where most people store their firewood unless you're keeping it in your house. They will turn it to powder and it dries up and it gets super dry. Cedar, however, will last quite a long time. Now, some other wood that lasts a very long time, we're gonna talk about next. So the next kinds of wood I'm gonna talk about are the oaks that are available in my area. Now, this piece right here is white oak and white oak, is a very good wood. It lasts a very long time. It's a very dense wood. Puts out a lot of BTUs. It's 24 million BTUs. The bugs will not eat it. It will last a long time and you can get it wet and leave it wet for a long time. It'll still dry out and it'll still burn. So white oak, and it's very similar probably to any of the oaks that are in the white oak family, which would be in the southern part of the United States. But we have basically white oak. And then the other white oak member of the family that we have is bur oak. And bur oak puts even more BTUs out. Bur oak puts out 26.2 uh, million BTUs. And again, you can get it wet, lasts a long time. The bark will rot off of it, but it does last a long time. The other oak that you hear everybody talk about, which is the most prevalent in my area, is red oak, which is what this is. Now red oak is a uh, wood that puts out 24 million BTUs, and and it will last a very long time. Bugs do not eat it either. Uh, the bark eventually will rot off, even if you get it wet, but the wood stays very solid for like a decade or two. But if you keep it covered and dry, it'll last a long time. That's true of any of the oaks. Which is why, in my opinion, in my area, oak is king. Just saying. Now, there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna say, oh no, this is better, that's better. Well, maybe in your area it is, but around here, oak is king. It's what people want the most from me when they buy wood. It's the wood that people wanna have that they know they can leave outside and it'll burn years from now. It's not gonna turn to mush. One of the worst woods, in my opinion, that you can have that you're gonna be prepping with is birch. And I know a lot of you are gonna be upset about that, but birch needs to be kept dry. If you get it wet, it rots. 
and bugs love to get into it and turn it to powder. So birch is not really good. Same as any of the other woods that the bugs like and will get soft and, and it'll rot away on you when it gets wet, which is, like I mentioned before, uh, your maples, well, box elder is actually a member of the maple family. So you got box elder, red maple, hard maple, or rock, or sugar, or yeah, the maples. They will rot away. So you want to keep those dry. Um, some of the pines are really bad too. White pine turns to mush. Red pine turns to mush. Uh, if you get it wet, and bugs like to eat that and turn it to powder. So that's all something to think about. So in my opinion, it's just my opinion. This isn't law, this isn't, I'm not saying I'm right, it's just my opinion. Oak is king. So in the comments, I want you to put in what's your favorite wood in your area, what wood is the most popular, what wood is the most plentiful, and what wood do you think is best for prepping? I'd be curious to find out what that is. So let me know. There you go, that's it for today, folks. You know what to do, poke some buttons, hit them all. Between now and tomorrow when you come back, there's 700 videos for you to watch. Tomorrow morning at 5.30 a.m. on my channel, there'll be another video just for you. Good night, Irene.